thank you to everyone that watched my video yesterday and left comments. Uh, it actually means a lot. So I appreciate you. I know I rambled on for a long time yesterday, but that's okay. I was just getting the video out there and that's what it was about. So today I'm gonna get straight to the point. I decided that I would make a video about what kind of goes in the gear bag that I carry with me, um, what kind of bag I use, why I use the things I do, but it's kind of just going through all the things that I feel like I need to take with me, whether I'm playing guitar, um, whether I'm drumming, whether I'm doing sound. So let's go through that today and figure out what I take with me. This right here, it's my current bag of choice. I have no idea what model it is. All I know is that it's Nike. I got it from the Nike store here. Got some side pockets, got a laptop sleeve pocket and a front pocket, which is quite large, which we'll get to. And then a little back pocket, which is pretty clutch. I've always preferred to use backpacks. I used to actually use, let me see if I can find it. This guy, this is a Vulcan bag from when I was in like grade eight. It matched the red skinny jeans I used to wear. But this bag, I remember I had just a huge argument with my mom about buying it because she it was like 50 bucks and she couldn't believe that she would spend 50 bucks on the backpack. But we did. And mom, that backpack has lasted me up until earlier this year. So I don't want to do the maths on how old I am right now, but it's about 10 years. So $50 for a backpack is good if you get 10 years out of it. So I moved on to this, uh, so let's go a bit more in depth as to what's inside and how I use it. Uh, let's start with the main pocket of the bag. It is the biggest pocket, holds kind of the most things. Do I need to say that? Just some molds. So I always take those with me. Only ball musician's toolkit. Um, it's literally just some pliers, screwdrivers, Allen keys, anything you would need to kind of do some on the spot maintenance of your guitar, but also other things. Um, so that's always super handy to have. This just has my in-ears in it, uh, like the in-ear receiver. Uh, I always carry a microphone. This one is a Beta 58, industry standard. And what else we got in here? This is the Love Pro. I don't know what model it is, it doesn't matter. It's just a little carry bag. Um, this pretty much is my acoustic carry. Got a tuner and a power supply for the tuner. Um, it's also got just a spare set of strings in there um, at the front and then an Evo. I also carry just some rechargeable batteries. These, for some reason, are really efficient. I can get through about five Sundays on a single charge, whereas before when I was using like Duracells and things, I'd have to change kind of every second Sunday. So uh, I definitely saved money. They were about $30 compared to about $10 for a new nine volt battery. So I'd recommend doing that if you find yourself going through batteries really quickly. In the kind of the laptop sleeve, I just have guitar cables. The black ones are the Planet Waves uh, Stage Professional Series. Uh, I really like them. They have a lifetime warranty and they they sound great and they work great. I can't complain about them. The white ones in there is like an Ernie Ball cable that I just got. They're not super expensive, but what I did learn is just because they look cool, doesn't make them super functional. White on a black stage does not look uh, super professional. So I tend to just stick with black cables, but a white cable is better than no cable. So I keep them in there just in case I need to use them. In this pocket, I keep, this is not a gum, it is a gum packet, but it's not gum. Uh, this is what I use to just kind of store my guitar picks. Here I just use, what do we go? Cool. These are kind of the two that I use primarily. The Only Ball 0.86 mil Tortex and the one mil Tortex. I tend to use this a bit more at the moment. I go through stages, but I play pretty hard. So I like having the pick. Uh, a little bit bendy, it's not super bendy, I can't see that, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, this is quite firm, but I kind of chop and change between the two, depending on what I'm doing. But I always keep them there. And then on the other side, I also just have some guitar strings. Again, it's one of, like, this bag to me is just things that I, I never want to be in a position where I wish I had it with me. So I got acoustic guitar strings, two different sorts of electric guitar strings. They're both 10 to 46, which is just the gauge I use. Only Ball, Diodario. I grew up using Only Balls. They changed to this aluminum packaging um, and I started breaking strings all the time. So I stopped using them. I stopped to Diodario. I've never had an issue with them, but I did always think that the Only Ball sounded a little bit better to me. So I've given Only Ball another chance. I haven't put them on any guitars yet, but I did buy a couple of packets. So next time I do change my strings out, I'm gonna try them see if they kind of stand the test. Uh, if they don't break, I'll probably move back to these. And then finally, it's just the accessory pocket in the back. I always carry with me a handful of 
patch leads for my pedal board. If I want to use a reverb pedal or a delay pedal with my acoustic, I've always got something with me so that I can make that work. These guys, I believe, are the Lava Piston Cable Series. I typically use the Lava Tight Ropes, but I just got these off a guy in Craigslist, so yeah, uh, they're really the same thing. They're both solderless patch cables. Shub Capo. I try to keep a just a normal capo. I prefer the Kaiser or the Dunlop capos. I just find them more easy to use and I keep those in guitar cases, but I always keep this in my bag. It's just good to have a spare if I ever need to use it. I have a tendency to leave capos everywhere and anywhere. So having one in my bag just gives me the peace of mind that when I get to a show or when I'm going to play at church, I've always got a capo in there if I need it. Then the last thing that I keep in my bag is this little clip tuner. My disclaimer, I'm not going to keep this super long because it's not a review. I don't like this at all. It's a snark clip-on headstock tuner, but I hate it. It's really terrible. What I will give it is it's very convenient. Uh, it's really easy to just put on the headstock of your guitar and tune up if you're practicing at home or you just need to do like a really quick something. You don't want to set up your whole rig. If I have time and effort, I'm going to use a pedal tuner, which is why I carry one in my bag. But this is just convenient to have as a option if I need it. So I do keep one in most of my guitar cases, but my honest review on this is I would not buy them again. If you want to know more about anything that I use in my bag or why I use what I use, send me a message or comment down below and I'll try and answer your questions. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next video.